Hello everyone, I greet in the name of God Almighty. My name is supposed to Newton Silas and today we have a very interesting video to react to and this one says that ex-Christians couple curious about Islam and are interested in converting. Okay, that's a very interesting one. So if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram and if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section. And I'm going to check it out. So, guys, before we get on to the video, I'm a theologian and I make this video not to discredit anyone's religion. This is basically for educational purposes, and I believe that at the end of this video, we all are going to learn from this. So, let's get on to the video and check this out. Okay, what's your name, brother? Trey. Trey, okay, nice to meet you, brother. What brought you over? You don't mean I ask you? Um, actually, I've been kind of curious about it for a while. So okay, beautiful. To really check it out. Okay. My interest sparked something. Wonderful, 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 brother. Do you have any questions on the top of your mind right now? Not necessarily, man. Like I say, I, everybody has their different beliefs. Of course. See, you know, I'm just more different, a broader figure, you know, with most of the world. Is already, you know, kids are absolutely, absolutely. So, as you know, uh, Islam is, or maybe uh, you're not aware, but Islam is one of the three Abrahamic religions, right? There's three main Ad Abrahamic religions one is Judaism, right? Christianity, and then Islam, right? So, right, uh, a, a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about Islam. Do you mind if I share with you a little bit about, about Islam, if that's okay with you? So, Islam started with the prophet Adam. Okay, so Islam started with Adam, right? And then the final prophet of God, right, uh, according to Islam, is the prophet Muhammad, who came with the final book, right, which is known as the glorious Quran, right? So we believe that Almighty God sent previous revelations, right? We believe that Almighty God sent revelations to Jesus. We believe uh, Almighty God sent revelation to Moses as well. But after those prophets were no longer on this earth, right? People started writing into books of the books of God with their own hands. And then interpreting what they wrote with their own hands and saying that this is what God said. You understand? That's when Almighty God sent the final prophet of God, which is known as the Prophet Muhammad, and sent the final book as well, right? So if you see this book, right? This is obviously a book in Arabic. When you read Arabic, you read it from right to left. In English, you read it from left to right. So this book is unlike any other book. The way this book was revealed to mankind is through an oral tradition. So this time, obviously the previous books they were written down, right? But this time it was it was memorized, right, by the people before it was written down. So now it's been and there's an oral, tradi uh, oral tradition to memorize the book. So hence, let's say if you write it down and later on down the line after the prophet dies, people try to change it, you can't change it because people have memorized it in their brains and in their hearts, right? For instance, if you travel all over the world today, you'll see many people and many young children starting at the age of five in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, and in and, uh, and Spain and um, Latin American countries as well have all memorized the Quran right in Arabic as as young as five letter for letter word for word right this is how we've been taught to preserve the book you understand so I would love to offer you a free book my dear brother this is a gift from me to you right this is a glorious Quran right this is also known as it means the recitation so this is the recitation of God. We believe that these are the direct words of the Almighty, Most Merciful Creator that was sent to the creation to guide all of mankind. So it's not just for a certain group of people or it's not, uh, it's, it's like, for instance, a lot of people, they believe that Islam is only for the Arabs, right? But if you look at reality, only 9% of Muslims are Arab. Majority of Muslims are actually Asians. You know, like, I don't know if you know Indonesia, that's a Muslim country. Malaysia is a Muslim country. There's tons of Muslims, mainly uh, in the Asian regions, right? So, um, I'll love to offer you a few other books as well. A brief illustrated guide to understanding Islam, right? 
So this is a gift from me to you. Do um, you have any questions about what I've sent to you so far, no, my dear brother? No, not at all, man. Okay, beautiful. And I'd love to offer you a bag as well, so it's easy for you to carry. Um, what's your what's your religious background, if you don't mind me asking? I really don't. Did you have like a I, Christian background or anything yeah, like that? My family is a Christian. Okay, cool, cool. So another book I'd love to offer you is My Great Love for Jesus Led Me to Islam. Because a lot of Christians, unfortunately, they don't know that Muslims believe in Jesus. And we believe Jesus as the Messiah, the son of Mary, and we believe that he is, uh, you know, he came to defeat the false messiah as well. So as Muslims, we believe in the second coming as well, right? So, um, yeah, uh, I would love to share with you a, a few verses of the Quran, if that's okay with you, my dear brother. Okay, cool. So, one of the verses of the Quran that I want to share with you is just the verse of the Quran that t teaches you who Almighty God is, right? So, like I told you before, as Muslims, we've been taught to memorize the book. So, I can read it from memory, right? A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Qul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad Wa lam yakun lahu kufuwan ahad What I just recited for you, right, is one of the last chapters of the Glorious Quran that describes to you exactly who Almighty God is, right? So it says, in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, that He is Allah one and indivisible. That Almighty God is absolutely one. He cannot be divided into parts. Allah, the sustainer needed by all. Meaning all of His creation needs Him, but He does not need anyone or anything. He is completely independent, right? He has never had offspring, nor was He born and there's none comparable to him, right? According to the Christianic perspective, they believe that we are the children of God. According to the Islamic perspective, we are the children of Adam. We are the creation of God, right? And that there's none comparable to God. Because obviously the Christians, almost 50% of Christendom believes that Jesus is God. But we do not believe in a God that eats, that sleeps, that prays, that gets, uh, you know, tempted by the devil, or that doesn't know the hour. You know, we believe in a God that's all-knowing, all-powerful, that cannot be harmed by his creation in any way, shape, or form. Because he's far superior than his creation in, any, in every way, my dear brother. So, you have any questions about what I said so far? No, no, man. Okay, beautiful, man. Beautiful, my brother. All right, so do you have any questions, my dear sister? Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So, this is all for you, my dear brother. And also, um, I would love to offer you guys a prayer mat as well. It's all from the Holy City of Mecca. Would you guys like one? It's all, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Whatever color you like, feel free to have it, my dear brother. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. That's a, that's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful color. It's a gift from me to you, okay? All right, beautiful. And then along with the prayer mat comes a prayer guide that teaches you how to worship the Creator as well. Because obviously, naturally, once you learn about the Creator, you're going to fall in love with the Creator, right? And once you fall in love with the Creator, you're going to want to know how to worship this Creator, right? So that's a, a, a brief guide that teaches you exactly how to worship the Creator. And the last book I would love to offer you is, you should know this person, Muhammad. He's known as the final messenger of God. He's also known as the number one most influential person in history. Okay? Beautiful. Alright guys, thank you so much my brother. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening and happy new year. Okay guys? Take care. Oh. That was a very interesting um, video. At least it was just a very straightforward one without so much um, dialogue, argument, and all that. At least, today Farouk did not argue. <laughs> because when I saw, like, I was just thinking that, okay, fine, let's just watch what's gonna happen. But today, it was just so special. It was just pure, straight to the point, like, teach them to understand what Islam is all about and what Islam or Muslim Islam believe in. And then went on to offer them the Quran as a gift and then some of the books that was talking about you know, Jesus Christ and how to and then also the other one was about um, Prophet Muhammad who was Prophet Muhammad and all that so it was just a very um, interesting one just that the only different part is but then it's just normal for me because this is what Muslim believe so it's different from what Christians would believe also different from what um, the Jews believe in though all of us are all from Abraham we all believe in that yes there's no doubt about um, that the, the only just difference between us is what that Jesus as a God 
that's just in a sense the difference but then everything is just um the same and then the couple like do you just go do you just listening and the truth about it is that sometimes people used to think that like when you see people like that it means that they already know about god that's why sometimes it is good for you to just meet people ask them you understand do you know who god is do you know who your maker is try to kind of talk to them talk to them about god try to increase their faith encourage them because people might be going through some certain things that you may not know but immediately you begin to engage with them you can be able to understand that look these people are actually going through a lot and then they really need guidance they really need someone to actually encourage them seriously they have a lot and in fact the truth about it is you can still even go to a place and realize that some don't even know who is jesus that's just it they have not even heard about it so it means that this responsibility in a sense has been given to us that's in the book of um, Mark, that's for those who are Christians in the same chapter 16. They have already tell us that what that that's the greatest commission, which is what you should go into the world in a sense and preach the good news to all creation. Right? It never says that we should remain in a particular place, but go everywhere, anywhere, right? That's why it says that he that winded the soul is what is wise. So now they are not giving you a particular method and says that this is how you should do it. But then there are different diverse ways in which understand you can engage people and then talk to them about god who knows probably as you speak to them that's how god is going to use that very process in order to save that person so to save that person from eternal um hellfire and that's why for some of us who are always in the social media doing one thing or the order it's been expected that yes as you do whatever you need to do at least find a way of talking to somebody about god talk to somebody about jesus christ let them know who this jesus christ is who knows probably you could save that um, person though it's not you per se that saved the person but god in a sense who is operating in you can be able to what save that um, very person of course we have looked at what so many um revered story and you realize that people normally would convert to either christianity or islam through somebody you see so why don't you just make yourself available you understand make yourself available let god use you as a tool in order to save people from eternal um hellfire a very interesting um video and i so much um love it i know that a lot of you have thoughts and opinion concerning this video and i want to drop it at the comment section let's all dialogue with one another so this is the end of my video if you like my reaction if you like share and subscribe and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys you remain blessed and i see you in my next video bye bye